guys, so I'm just doing this quick video for a subscriber to the channel. Um, I'm not sure how you can see me here because I'm using my crappy camera mount uh, to film this. So I've just he's asking about some stuff how I do my videos, <clears throat> which aren't real fantastic anyhow. And then this will be one of the last videos that I post up. <laughs> Um, for a little while, so because I am uh, taking a little bit of a siesta break, um, and then I'm going to go over a few things. The next video will be an update for the Rust Bucket Blazer. Uh, I kind of want to get most of the engine compartment details taken care of this weekend. I hope before I finish get the the new update on it. So uh, you know, I'll get that going on here, go guys. That'll be the next one. Uh, I'm waiting on some parts to come in here for the orange uh, four-door that I posted the videos on the other day. I want to say a thank you to all the subs. Uh, I'm, I'm close to my thousand, so the only thing I have to do is hit my viewing time. Uh, because I'm going to have the subs, but I'm not going to have the viewing time. So uh, I'm going to check this camera real quick before we move on to the actual video of uh, how, what I'm, somewhat of what I'm using here. Uh, that way I try to get a halfway decent quality video for this subscriber. Um. Alright, I think that'll probably put me into the frame. Um, so, this is what, I, I mean, some stuff that you can, an idea, some stuff you can get. Uh, never mind the coughing in the background. My son has some throat issues. Uh, <laughs> I'm just teasing. So the best thing that I have found out of all these things to use, and they're not cheap, um, and it works with supposedly, I don't know about Apple products, but it does work with Android. And no, I'm not sponsored by any of these people. Uh, this is just something that I found. That, and I don't even know the name of this. They're, they're, this is like one of them off-brand cheap um like a big selfie extendable selfie stick that they sell um on on ebay or amazon uh this one's pretty nice it extends out i had it in a video before i do believe i did i think i paid 10 bucks for it shipped here um it's completely adjustable the head on it so you can move it around uh it's got a thing here that adjusts for your different sizes phones and the reason why I said for the Apple and the Android is I know it'll work with Android because I'm filming on a Note 9. So that's that's my best, uh, you know, my, my junk uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 9 that awesome Samsung has refused to put any more updates out for, uh, which doesn't even work as an actual phone any longer. So I'm still I'm still using that phone because I need I'd like to get an upgrade to a better phone, but. Uh, you know, just they're so high dollar that uh, I've got so much other money going out for other stuff right now. So, and the camera quality on the Note 9 is still good for me. So, um, well, most of my videos are done with that phone. A lot of the first person view stuff is done with this little Yee Light camera. Once again, I'm not sponsored by any of these people or sell anything for them. I'm just telling you what I use. This is the Yee Light. Um, or Y light, I don't know how you would say that. Uh, it's got decent battery life. This one, when I bought it, come with a come with two batteries, and then your mini SD card goes in the bottom. Uh, that's most of the point of view type videos that I'm shooting. I have done some videos with this camera. Uh, it just it gives you that action camera look um, in the video. So I kind of like the cell phone better. And the cell phone does a little better video quality, and you know that's my opinion. But uh, so, and the action camera does not will, will not go in, into this style. This is actually made for particularly for a cell phone. So, but this is nice because it does Bluetooth to your phone, and you can use this button which pops out here, uh, comes out in your hand. And you can carry that around. Uh, which this is kind of a pain in the butt because I don't have gimbals and all that fancy expensive stuff that a lot of YouTubers, uh, you know, use. I'm just, uh, I don't, I put as much money as I can and I, as I can towards the video stuff and I'm not a huge, you know, tech guy or whatever. Uh, you know, I put most of my money into my actual rigs and stuff and my RC stuff in general. 
So I would probably do better, obviously, if I'd put more money into the tech stuff, but it's not really my thing. Uh, so if you savvy that, so I mean, that's just not really my thing. But this does extend out, makes a nice base. Uh, I like this one because you can get really down low when you're doing the videos like this right here. You can mount your phone in this right here, and you can get the real low shots. The only thing is, is you are constantly um, stopping and starting and doing like little 5 to 10 second clips how I've been doing them. Uh, just the one hand of driving stuff, I do do some of that uh, with my phone strapped to my camera, or I have this and the mount on it, and I just do not care for that at all. Uh, I'm usually standing on a hillside. Uh, because I'm in the state of West Virginia and everything is on a mountain cliff. Uh, and a lot of people, I don't know, realize that or whatever. Uh, so it does make it a lot harder for filming, um, uh, personally, for me. Uh, because like I said, everything's kind of just, it's on a mountain cliff. So it's real hard to do the filming and driving here where I'm at uh, most of the time. So this is my number one go-to uh, that I do, I use to make my actual, my full-length trail videos. And then, you know, I just use my camera to slow down the speeds and stuff. So then we move on to, I've got this crappy little Octopi thing that's really cheap. You can get off Amazon. You can get off of eBay. Uh, they're, they're, like I said, they're, they're very cheap. They're like, I think, seven, eight bucks shipped. You can actually kind of do some cool stuff because you can actually wrap this around stuff. They're flexible. Your phone fits in there just like that. I can actually unscrew this from it, and I can actually screw my action camera directly to the to this one. And it's just plastic, so you got to be careful. You can't be real rough with it. This is just a super cheap one. Uh, like I said, I try to do everything frugally when it comes to this stuff. You know, I don't spend you know crap tons of money buying no seven hundred dollar or more than that GoPro because you know I mean I'm not you know a lot of this I do for fun. Uh, you know, so anyways, I so I can't afford to drop no seven to a thousand dollars for a real fancy camera. Uh, that's just me. So there we go. We got that's that's another mount that I use right here, and you can get real low to the ground and do some cool stuff with that one as well. And then my homemade for the videos where you see, and I've modified this one. I've been working on. I'm still working on it. Um, this is my. Uh, I can mount my GoPro to this one, screws down, or I can mount my phone, and this is a full metal. I built this one, I modified it, uh, so I can mount my camera different ways than that. It turns 360 degrees, um, it extends up and down for different terrains, and then I can actually, and this will strap to the bottom of my remote when I was telling you how I filmed from my remote. Uh, I just got a piece of Velcro that goes across my my transmitter and it just rat it just pulls down tight around this and I've just taken a piece of wood, a uh, small wood slat, and I have cut it to the length that I wanted and I've got a mounting hole farther out here and one here for adjustment. And then uh, I just strap the Velcro around it, and I and then I can loosen the Velcro, and I can move this as well. So I get the full rotation there. This turns like this as well. So I can do different stuff with that with my phone as well. Um, and this is just one of them cheap. Uh, this is a monopod selfie stick. You know, one of them cheap off-brand, uh, you know, selfie sticks or whatever. And it, te it telescopes out. It's really long. Uh, so I can get real close to the ground shots without bending over and stuff because my back's not the best anyways. Um, partially because, you know, I mean, not exactly a super fit dude. If you get, if you catch me, if you feel me on that one. Uh, but yeah, that's just a homemade one. And I'll grab a transmitter here, which I should have had ready. Make sure we're still recording. And I'll just grab my, um, uh, Fly Sky GT3B. And like I said, I just have the Velcro, and then I'll loosen the Velcro up here. We'll just do this real quick, and I need to refine this a little bit more. And then this will just go in here, and then your Velcro just goes around. If I can do this one-handed, I'm not going to be able to, so you just get to catch the drift of it. You can move this in and out wherever it need be, and then you just take your Velcro and you tighten it down. And then you got your extended selfie stick here with your phone in it. 
so you can you know do videos or whatever and then i did add a cheaper 3d printed um you know one-handed drive uh which honestly i think i've got going the wrong direction i need to flip this around the other way so i need to do that now that i'm thinking about it when i'm done with this i'll leave this down so uh, i have the one-handed driving thing here um for the GT3B because this is the transmitter of my, of my choice. I like this transmitter. I've had it for literally ever. Um, and it's never failed me. And you can see how old it is. It's crusty. Uh, and this one even still has the eight double A's in it that it takes. Which I'm going to be remedying. I'm going to be putting a 2S in here. And I'll be doing a video of how to do that. <clears throat> that way I don't got to buy any more double A batteries for my main transmitter. So, um, But there you go. That's a good nice added, uh, addition here is having the one-handed driving piece. You can get them cheap off of eBay, uh, pretty much for any of your remotes, your transmitters, especially your name brands. I don't run Futabas and all that fancy expensive stuff because uh, I just feel like that stuff's just, it's not needed. Uh, my Fly Sky works just fine. Um, I have an IT4 that they've discontinued and that was an awesome transmitter. I wish uh, Fly Sky still made it. I'm probably going to get, I think it's the GT5 eventually, to have just as another one that'll hold multiple uh, models. But my GT3B is my favorite, and it's easily modifiable to a 2S rechargeable LiPo that'll run forever. So, that's how I do my videos, guys. And then, uh, I just, you know, when you see the different, different clips, this is me just moving this one around mainly. Hitting record, going that portion of the trail, and then... Uh, I have a free right now if I could afford to pay the monthly fee for it. Uh, I really love the cap cut editor. Um, it just, you know, I, I can't swing that uh, for what other stuff I'm paying right now, monthly fee wise. Because I think it's like 20 bucks a month. I'll have to look into it. I may be lying to you. It may not be 20. Uh, but just right now, I can't swing that with everything else that I have going on. Or I would absolutely love to have the pro version of the cap cut editor because there's a lot of stuff you can do on there. Uh, but right now, I'm still, I'm still, um, I'm still rocking their free stuff uh, on their editor, which I hope they don't change that ever, uh, which I hope, hopefully they don't. Because I love, I just love that editor. There's tons of different things on there that you can do, and it's got self-editing and auto cuts, and it's just, it's a pretty nice editor. Um, and I'm not sponsored by them in any ways, guys, or anything. I'm not sponsored by any of this stuff that I'm going over. Um... So that's what we got right now. Uh, this is what I'm using, guys. And, you know, the my main one's a homemade one. And my phone, you know, get yourself a, you know, even if you get yourself an out-of-date um, cell phone. And when I say out-of-date, I mean, maybe it's like an out-of-date uh, harp, harp software, hardware, whatever. I don't know. I don't get into that technical stuff. Um, I, 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 like, I like mechanical stuff. I'm not a big electronics guy. Uh, but... You know, if you get you get yourself a, a, a phone that has a very good a good camera, uh, my, my Note Nine uh, still will do up to 4K. Uh, the memory sucks in it, and that phone's in really bad shape, and it crashes on me constantly, and the battery dies when I'm running it in 4K fast, because I've been using this Note Nine forever for this. But uh, it's what I'm filming on right now, and this is filmed in 1080. But the CapCut editor, I can actually upload through to 4K on a lot of those really clear videos that you guys see. It just takes it forever. And honestly, the one of the best things you can have is a good internet because my internet's terrible. Uh, you know, uh, you'll see me dump all those videos uh, that you'd be seeing or those shorts. I just dump a ton of them. I'm doing it because I don't want to lose the videos because my phone crashes constantly and I lose videos. So that's why you'll see me back to back, back to back, back to back posting videos because my phone will just crap out and I'll lose everything. Um, so, and for some reason I can't even get on my online storage because it says my phone is just operating is out of date and Samsung doesn't have any more updates for this phone. So that's why you see me posting video, 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 video. So I don't lose anything after I do them. So anyways, that's how I do these videos. This is, like I said, that, uh, subscriber, you know, commented and asked, uh, that's what it is guys. I think this is going to be long enough because this is going to. I'll have to wait till tomorrow to upload this video uh, to where I'm at a better internet source. So that's how I do it, guys. That's it. That's all there is from the RC Dungeon. Uh, there's other there's other channels out there that do way better than me, guys. Um, this this is just you know 
uh, how I do mine, and I call it the poor boy filming method. I don't, like I said, the fancy gimbal stuff and all that, I don't even get into it. Uh, you know, a lot of guys, uh, check out TNC, R Media, I think. Uh, you'll see his comments in some of my videos. He does great stuff. Mutter Putter, um, all those guys, man. I mean, they're all their, you know, they, they have it down. You know, I can't get the filming down like those dudes do. Uh, I don't have the skills. I don't have the equipment or whatever. I don't know how they're doing it, but man, them guys really work in my opinion. Uh, their filmography is like insanely great. Uh, I don't really get into that. I'm more into the scale trucks and that stuff for me. Uh, cause I'm more of a mechanical guy than I am, you know, like I said before. So I think that's it from the RC dungeon guys. If you have any more questions, comment down below, buddy. I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you subbing. I know you sub the channel. Uh, once again, we're going to have another video coming, give a, 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 vid, a giveaway video coming. Uh, on a, a more big, uh, a bigger ticket item. I'm going to change up the way I do that one uh, because it is a bigger ticket item. Uh, I want to, you know, just I'm going to film the whole thing of doing the names and all that stuff. And then, uh, you know, that way you have proof that everybody got a fair shake at doing everything because uh, that's how I like to do it. Uh, you know, nothing is going to be staged or anything with a lot of like places that do giveaways you got to be careful with. So, um, Hopefully, Ken's or RC Customs, bro, get a hold of me. I haven't heard from you. I've messaged you. Uh, I'm waiting to get a hold of you about that giveaway that you won. So, uh, give me a shout. If you see this or the other video, bro, give me a comment or something. Um, uh, I'd like to get that, you know, figure out your address and everything. Get that coming your way. So, anyhow, from the RC Dungeon, as always, guys, peace.